This particular story is uh, quite well known to most of you here. It takes place during Prince Ram's uh, 14 years exile in the forest. In some versions of the Ramayan, a demon disguises itself as a beautiful golden deer and visits the hut where Prince Ram lives with his brother Lakshman and Ram's wife Sita. Upon seeing the dazzling, beautiful deer, Sita requests her husband to go and get it for her. Not to disappoint his dear wife, Ram sets out to get it for her, leaving explicit instructions to his brother Lakshman to protect his sister-in-law Sita and stay by her side. Days pass, Ram does not return. Sick with worry, Sita begs Lakshman to go and search for Ram. Reluctant at first, Lakshman finally agrees to help his sister-in-law who is anguished and is in pain, but only under one condition. He draws a magical, mystical perimeter around the hut, the Lakshman Rekha. He tells her not to cross the Rekha at any cost. The Rekha is drawn for her own protection to protect her from all the worldly demons that reside outside the hut. She agrees. Turns out, the deer was a ruse set up by the demon king, Ravan. Ravan's plan was to draw Ram away from Sita so he could capture her. And in doing so, when Ram and Lakshman leave the hut and are not in the area, Ravan disguises himself as a sage, as a rishi, and visits the hut where Sita is, all alone. Now this is where things get interesting. Sita, fully aware of the perils of the consequences of crossing the Lakshman Rekha, still decides to do so, because it is in her ethics, in her values, to serve or to attend the guest that is at her doorstep. And the minute she does that, the second she does that, she is captured by the evil Ravan. Now, in, mo in many modern uh, interpretations of the Lakshman Rekha, it looks at the Lakshman Rekha as a symbol of the patriarchal world trying to confine or control the modern day feminist from setting out on her own adventure, from setting out on her own journey, from setting out on her own. But I am not here today to talk about the patriarchal issues or to talk about the gender roles. I'm here to talk about the Lakshman Rekha as a state of mind. Regardless of your gender, regardless of your age, regardless of your faith, the Lakshman Rekha exists. When we grow up, while we're growing up, we feel like no big, no dream is too big. You know, you can do whatever you set out to do. But slowly, as the worldly wisdom pours in from our friends, our family, the society, we gradually and slowly and eventually start etching a line, a Lakshman Rekha for ourselves. Why do we do that? You know, in the background with the society's pressures and topped off with our own experiences, we start to draw confinements. And with time, we grow so comfortable within the confinements that we draw for ourselves or confinements that are drawn for us by somebody else, that it eventually becomes our comfort zone. And eventually, we end up there. It becomes very difficult for us to cross that. So that, for us, is the Lakshman Rekha. One of the first Lakshman Rekhas that we're introduced to is when we're told our parents and our teachers know everything. They are the best, and thus, they are always right. One of the biggest and the first Lakshman Rekhas that we're introduced to. Beyond this Rekha, 
beyond their knowledge lie discoveries that are waiting to be understood and to be challenged. Our education system, one that lacks innovation, is doing, is serving no justice to the world around us. The world is moving at a lightning speed. There are innovations happening every single day. Is our education system prepared for that? Or is our education system even acknowledging that? So the education system in itself is one of the biggest Lakshman Rekhas that exists today. And with the world moving at a rapid speed, we ought to, we have to cross the Rekha and cross it fast. So we're also told that sky is the limit. Sky, again, metaphorically, is the largest and the biggest Lakshman Rekha that looms over our heads. Why sky? There's the space, there's the universe, there's the beyond that we know, don't know of. Why haven't we explored that? Why are we just limited within the skies? So, so many times we draw these confinements, these Lakshman Rekhas for ourselves. Like I said, it's either drawn for us or we do it by ourselves. And so, more than often, in the name of tradition. Speaking of tradition, sacrificing your own life on your dead husband's pyre, the Sati Pratha, was once a revered tradition. One of the biggest, uh, the largest number of queens who sacrificed their, sacrificed their lives for this Pratha in Nepal were 33 queens. 33. The then Lakshman Rekha for these women. 33 lives wasted, 33 murders. And they didn't even know about it. And they took so much pride in that. And aren't we glad that we crossed that Lakshman Rekha so gloriously? Going further back into history, to our ancestors, the fish, not apes, not chimpanzees, but the fish. There are new studies that reveal that we, homo sapiens, humans, may have evolved from fish. An aquatic creature that took a leap of faith and jumped out, crossed its water boundaries, its Lakshman Rekhas, to become one of the most advanced species on Earth, human beings that even today, after 50, more than 50 million years of evolution, still aspires to build walls around its borders. Nevertheless, humanity, the human ev evolution, serves as the best proof of crossing the Lakshman Rekhas. We would have still been writing letters and waiting for days to communicate instead of sending a quick text message. We would have still thought that life is not possible beyond Earth. We would have still been carrying candles out in the dark. So here's to the Sitas who crossed their Lakshman Rekhas despite knowing of the punishing consequences. They took the leap of faith. They dared to imagine they dared to cross the Lakshman Rekhas. So many of us cross our Rekhas, our Lakshman Rekhas, all the time, intentionally or by mistake. The important thing is not just crossing the Rekha. It's about what happens once we cross the Rekha. Crossing the Lakshman Rekha in itself opens a world of opportunities, one with new knowledge, with new learnings, with new and rich emotions. Personally, for me, I aspire to cross such Lakshman Rekhas on every single day. And why can't we? There are people who've done that and proven that we have to cross the Lakshman Rekhas 
in order to evolve. It is our responsibility duty as one of the most advanced species to do that and set an example for generations to follow. So here's to all the Sitas and all of us. Dare, let's dare. Let's, the world right now is not acceptable. It needs more Sitas to cross such Lakshman Rekhas. Thank you.